Hi everybody, welcome to Zyber Gang's YouTube channel. My name is Tunayne and I hope you're keeping well and safe. In today's video, we are going to make a Valentine's inspired hand lotion bar, a natural hand lotion bar. Um, as you can see, a little bit of heart shade and I've got also dried rose petals. I have been inspired by this um, idea of this product idea from Brambleberry, which they is a US-based ingredient supplier. And sometimes I buy from I buy some ingredients from them. So, um, but in their version, uh, in their formula, it's this product can only be used on a dry skin, not on a wet skin. So uh, I was looking at their comments and people are saying, can we not use it wet skin? And they, they're saying like, we can't, we can't use it wet skin. In order to use this product after shower on a wet skin, we need to incorporate an emulsifying wax. You might say, what's an emulsifying wax? Well, it's a wax type that has water loving and oil loving agents in it and once the water is introduced it makes a nice emulsion and it will allow it to glide on your skin very nicely now that we clarified what an emulsifying wax is let me show you how we do it and also the formula as well okay so we're going to use this heart shaped nice silicone mold uh, it has six but today we're going to make 100 grams so it should be able to fill two of these um, and there'll be more than enough for me to use anyway <laughs> so uh, what we're going to start with we're just going to put some uh, dried rose flowers um, to get that nice cosmetic uh, look about it so let's start with that just, if you want to get the silicone mold uh, i got it from a company called soap kitchen which i'm going to put the link in the description and also um, you can also get this from Bramble, brambleberry in the us um, i'll put their link for them and before we and before we start i was always i'm going to show you the formula which should uh, appear on the screen right now so the percentage of the formula, as you can see, is heavily butters because it's going to be a solid lotion bar. So we need to get it solidified. So we're going to start with 35% of uh, cocoa butter. Then we're going to follow with 20% mango butter. And this is our um, emulsifying wax, which is called Olive 1000. Um, if you don't have this, you can use uh, BTMS 25, e another e-wax in a replacement. So that should work. That should do the trick. But uh, um, I'm using here what's called Olive 1000. It's a, a natural a emulsifying wax derived from olives. Um, then we're gonna follow up with um, jojoba. Uh, the reason I chose this is very, very uh, good for your skin and it's very nice emollient as well. And it almost has the um, exact uh, structure of the natural skin sebum. So it's a very beneficial, very nice oil to use. Then we're gonna follow up with um, an optional oil called raspberry seed. So um, this specific specific raspberry seed is basically is an upcycled ingredient. And you might say, what's an upcycled ingredient? Basically, the seeds from raspberries from the jam industry is basically, rather than being discarded, is being reused, it's being collected, it's squeezed, and it's gonna make an and it's being made an oil out of these discarded seeds, which is the way it should be because there's enough pollution going on out, going around and one of the biggest pollutants on in the world is the food industry and this, this is a nice way of uh, using uh, discarded seeds from the general industry and uh, repurpose them to make a nice oils like this and then we're going to follow up with um, beeswax i'm adding beeswax to make it even harder so uh, after that i'm going to use a little bit of arrowroot powder so the main job of this arrowroot powder is to reduce the greasiness if you, of this uh, lotion bar. You know, it's going to be very greasy because of the butters, but um, arrowroot will, will help with that. If you don't have arrowroot powder, you can also use cornstarch, tapioca powder, or any other powder. Obviously, we will need vitamin E just because um, we don't want our lovely lotion bar going uh, oxidized, um, and this will help reduce the oxidization oxidization of the butters and also increase the shelf life and also because we're going to use we're going to use water we will need the preservative in this case i'm using preservative eco this is a natural preservative and but if you don't have this you can use any other widely available preservatives just because we're going to introduce water or we're going to use this product with the water so as you can see i already put some rose petals here and now let's get our jeweler scale so let's start okay so 35 percent uh let's tear this right let, so we're gonna start 20. okay so we got 35 grams of cocoa butter 
Next is 20 grams of mango water. Okay. So next we're gonna add 15 grams of um, emulsifying wax, which is olivam in this case. Okay, so we added our 15 grams of olive wax. Let's add our eight grams of beeswax. So it should be okay. Eight grams, so this should be enough. 22. Two sixty-two and two sixty-one. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, fine. Next, we need to add our jojoba oil. So we need ten grams of jojoba oil. This is a lovely oil. I love using jojoba oil. Such a golden color. It's a little bit gone a little bit up there, but it's okay. Um, and next, we need um, the red raspberry. So. This is the upcycled oil that I talked about earlier. So we need uh, five grams. Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to melt all these nicely all together. And then once it starts to cool down, we're gonna add the rest of them. So I've just put it into the water. This is a little hot water. Uh, it's not a boiling water, just it's a double boiler method. And so let's just melt all these lovely oils and butters together. Okay, so now all the ingredients are melted. As you can see, there's not no solids left. So let's have a look. You can see it's become nice golden color. So while it's cooling down a little bit, let's just add the arrowroot powder. And if you don't have arrowroot powder, you can use a uh, tapioca starch or corn starch. It's all they're all going to do the same job. So the main job here is to get that greasiness out of the um, butters a little bit, just to make it more. Uh, less greasy getting thicker uh, we're gonna add our preservative just because as i said because we're going to introduce water uh, we need a preservative so we're gonna add one gram um, so that's done and we also prevent from oxidization uh, butter is getting oxidized we need one gram of um of vitamin e so just quickly add that as well i'm going to do first i'm just gonna pour a little bit just to get these dried flowers stick so that they won't float up um, so what we can do we can just mix them and let it solidify a little bit it's already solidifying you can see it's sticking up already so we don't have too much time left so we just wait for a few seconds and then i'm gonna add the rest of it Just, I'm going to let this rest a little bit, as you can see, you don't want to touch it too much. And once it's set, I'm going to put it in the fridge and the freezer, just to, you know, fasten up the cooling period. We're going to um, get them out together. Okay, so I got the mold out of the freezer. So as you see, it's completely solidified. So let's get them out. So already is picking up, it's going out. So that's number one. And... That's a smaller number two. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, it's solidified nicely. Not the perfect shape, but you know, it does its job. So they look quite nice and they're really cute. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a little demonstration. Just get my gloves out and show you how to use them. Okay, so I've got my gloves out. As you can see, it's uh, you can hold them, it's quite solid. And if you want to use them, you can use them under your elbows or on your fingers or on your on your wrist, you know, anywhere or after shower, anywhere in your body, it's all over the body use. So I'll just use it here. Uh, see, as you can see, it glides quite nicely. There's a bit of shine, obviously it's cocoa butter. So, you know, it's uh, it's gonna be a little bit greasy, but it's not, as you can see, it's quite nicely absorbed. There's a bit of a shine, but it's quite, it's very nourishing, obviously. So let me just, just put some water on my hands. So after shower, let's say you're quite wet and you want to use it or in the shower. So you just put a little bit. And as you can see, it's already emulsified. You can see the white marks. So that means it's emulsified. So uh, that shows you that this is, this is uh, with the emulsifying wax. You can use it 
and it makes really skin quite nice and nourished uh, so yeah you can put a little bit more as you can see it's becoming more and more emulsified yeah. you just can see it's a bit like soap emulsifying so yeah that's it that's how you use it uh, i'm not sure if you want to use it on your face normally these are hand or body lotions really uh, for face it could be quite heavy but anywhere anywhere part of your body especially very dry parts like uh, under your elbows or your um, or your feet you can use it on your feet as well anywhere that you feel that quite uh, dry and unnourished these will be perfect and they will have a really good long shelf life because we added the preservative and also has a vitamin e as well so Anyway, hope you like this tutorial and hope you like this product. You can try it at home. If you do it at home, just tag me. I would like to see your creations as well. My Instagram is going to appear now. Until next time, if you also have product challenges for me, please do let me know. Uh, and yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And until then, take care. Bye.